Verse 37 says, and Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. After that, verse 38, and the curtain of, in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Okay, let me read that again, just that verse. And the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. All right, all right. Okay, <laughs> amen. Uh, uh, access granted going beyond the veil. Uh, jump now to Hebrews 9, verses 11 through 15. Jump there with me, and we're going to be there uh, for, for uh, Hebrews 9, 11 through 15. And it says, So Christ has now become the high priest over all the good things that have come. He has entered that greater, more perfect tabernacle in heaven, which was not made by human hands and is not part of this created world. With his own blood, not the blood of goats and calves, he entered the most holy place once for all time and secured our redemption forever. Mm. Under the old system, the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a young cow could cleanse the people's bodies from ceremonial impurity. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our consciences from sinful deeds. So that we can worship the living God. Come on now. For by the power of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. Verse 15, that is why he is the one who mediates a new covenant between God and people. So that all who are called can receive the eternal inheritance God has promised them. For Christ died to set them free from the penalty of the sins they had committed under that first covenant. All right. All right. Access granted. Thank you. Going beyond the veil. All right. Ooh, boy. Access granted. Going beyond the veil. The veil. When you have had, we've talked about this in previous weeks, this has come up in previous weeks. <clears throat> when you have had an experience with him, mm -hmm. it has an impact on how you look. That's right, that's right. <clears throat> it changes your whole demeanor, your whole countenance is changed, it's, it's converted, it's, it's transfigured even when you've had a unique and special encounter <coughs> with him. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Let me get into my introduction. Um, a ticket grants you access to a theater right. mm -hmm. or a concert hall to see some kind of production or movie or concert. Um, but not everybody has what's called a backstage pass. That's right. Mm. Yeah. I need y'all. Are y'all in here? Not 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 everybody has what's called a backstage pass. Good. That's good. See, the backstage pass enables you to go behind yeah. the curtain. That's it. Amen. That's it. That's it. Amen. Yeah. Oh, are y'all in here good. this morning? Okay. Amen. Mm. Amen. The backstage pass allows you access. That everybody else does not have. Yeah, yeah. Everybody that paid for their ticket at least can come in and sit down and watch the concert, but not everybody, Brother Mark, has a backstage pass. There are some in the faith that just got access to the theater to see the show. Uh huh. 